All right, guys, I'm at my local Walmart again for the second iteration of going to check out their camping and survival gear and seeing what they've got in stock this week. This is a different Walmart, so hopefully their stock selection will be just a little bit better. So stick with me. guys we are down and uh, camping again at another Walmart this week we're on the other side of town and we're gonna see what they've got in stock this week okay so as last week when I showed the carabiner um, eating tool this is actually a spork way more similar to the CRK um, CRKT eating eating tool but it's got um, more compact design and what I like it's it's much much cheaper so it's only 292 so this is a very 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 nice find if you want to be compact, straightforward, and to the point for your outdoor eating tool. Okay, so the knives and machete section for it. I'm very interested in this one. This is the Gator Bolo. And as you guys can see, I have to shoot way out. But this will be a very powerful chopper with a lot of weight right here on the head. I think this will be very fun to check out. I like the handle a lot better, way more ergonomic. However, I'm always a little nervous about the edge, especially with machetes that are under $30. So you may have to touch this up, but this is something that will definitely be on my channel very soon. So, as last time, this is the Ozark Trail Navaja, but at this Walmart, instead of being $3.87, it's actually only $1.97. So, at this price cost, I think even though it's very, very cheap still, it could be a little more affordable and possibly worth testing out on the channel. Well, this definitely caught my eye. This is a folding shovel from Ozark Trail. Walmart's, uh, but it's 10 bucks, 10 bucks. So at $10 for a foldable shovel, is this something I really want to pass up to not have a chance to try to test it and see if it's actually worth a very, very minor price point. As with last time, anything you guys see along the way and are intrigued by, definitely drop down in the comments and give your suggestions. I'm really open to them and I really appreciate how well received this video was and I'm definitely down to start showcasing and looking for really cool, awesome stuff for you guys to check out. So definitely drop down in the comments to let me know what you're looking for. For those of you who like fire starters, this is among my favorites. These are the Zip fire starters. These are awesome. They're self-contained, you just put them in a little Ziploc bag, and these things are just ready to go instantly. Just so, I'm very happy to report that these plastic 88 cent flatware set is seems to be a common trend among the several Walmarts I have been to. So this is really exciting, being able to see going to different Walmarts through my city and finding these as a pretty good mainstay. So no matter where you are, you should be able to find these pretty easily. Okay, so this definitely caught my eye is this survival card which let's be real it's an EDC multi-tool at best so it looks like it has quite a few functions but the good news it's new but it's only $1.96 so this is something I'm definitely gonna bring in but it says it has a knife edge flathead screwdriver bottle opener ruler which is kind of pointless poor position hex wrench direction ancillary indicator, two position heck wrench, lanyard hole, saw blade, butterfly wrench, and can opener. So I will definitely be putting the saw blade to the test and see if that's any good. It seems a little ridiculous, but hey, for $1.96, you're only out a couple bucks, which most people spend more than that on a pack of gum. So last but certainly not least in my uh, little scouting trip for today here. All right, so here's the spark force. I know you guys are no stranger to this around YouTube but this is what I thought was very interesting. Drop for an extra 42 cents, you were able to get the water, a waterproof container. Check this out. So you get the Spark Force fire starter and six um, light meat tenders. So you'll get a container for free, a watertight container, six uh, tender stick, little tender um, cotton bundles plus a Spark Force for an extra 42 cents, which is a good deal because if you come down and we go to the fire section, 286 for the light meat tenders. You get eight of them, but instead of six. However, for 42 cents more, I save roughly $2.50. 
totally worth it. So definitely when you guys are shopping, keep your eye, uh, eyes out for the specials and deals, combo packs, bundles, stuff like that. It can save you a lot of money when you're planning your trips and for camping and outdoor packs, it can drastically, because dollars and weight count immensely. Well, this is interesting. This has got to be one of the most fully stocked flashlight sections I've come across personally. But um, as you guys know, I do like flashlights. Ooh, there's a, there's a good deal right here. Look at this. 13 bucks for a bunch of flashlights. So if you're looking to stock away some cheap throwaway flashlights that you can use like in your glove box, in your house, just have some easy throwaway flashlights in an emergency, that'd be a good idea. So this is an interesting find. Uh, it's really cheap actually. It's only 10 bucks. But at the lumens and the price point, you can find, I dare say, flashlights online that outperform this, but it's not bad for some, some people don't like the small ones. Some people do like a handful. Um, makes them, I guess, feel more secure. But uh, this is kind of an interesting one. It's not too bad. But it does come with three to blaze. But 10 bucks is not bad, but it's, like I said, it's a little bulky. All right, everybody, so I'm back from Walmart, and these are the two items this time I decided to pick up, and here's why. I had quite a few more items so this is the multi-tool that I showed you it's I mean it was super cheap it was a very hard piece not to pick up definitely because I'm interested it's something you can EDC on you and I can give it a whirl and if it fails miserably it only cost me two bucks so I'm not too worried about it now like I said before in the video I got this fire starting kit because you get the water you get the watertight container I get the tinder cubes and the fire steel, all for a two dollars and fifty cents saving compared to what I could get if I bought the fire steel and the tinder burner separately. So that was too big of a deal not to pass up. Plus, if I decide to repackage the um, fire steel and the tinder, I will be able to utilize this to store something else. So it's very very helpful. Now. While I was out doing my video, and I wasn't planning on actually showcasing this for a, a few months, uh, not a few weeks actually, sorry, <clears throat> excuse me, I got a text message from my girlfriend, and she said, oh, hey, you have a package. I was like, oh, okay, cool. And I said, open it up and show me what it is. Well, this is what I got. So this is why I got didn't fully shop at Walmart, because, well, I got a, I got a few nice toys to check out and this is a company called next torch they're based out of china but this is next tool and this is a eating tool which is pretty neat i will open it up if you guys want me to but um it is a singular design like right here so the knife fork and spoon combo cutlery it can separate and so I'm like, ooh, this is kind of neat. I will actually hold off and check this out. So it looks like it comes apart pretty well. And when it's together, it's a nice, easy formed function piece. <clears throat> Next, some of you might recognize this one. Um, this one was on Survival on Purpose's channel. Um, Next Torch, this is their pocket lantern. And what I've noticed about a lot of their flashlights, just from looking at them over the past few minutes in the box, is they focus very highly. Where is it at? Where is it? There it is. It might be hard for you guys to see. But it says on high, the runtime is 3 hours and 20 minutes, and on low, it's 30 hours. So I think what they're doing is they are sacrificing what us, what, <clears throat> what quite a few of us in over in the States uh, treasure as maximum power. I have a 47,000 lumen flashlight that will see the retinas off you four miles away. I think they're sacrificing that for extended battery life. So they're trying to find a balanced alternative <clears throat> between power and efficiency for your batteries. The next one I picked up is that I got in the mail is the PA5. I've never heard of this. However, the 660 lumens, I was kind of like, eh. however... It's only charged by 118650, but there are plenty of flashlight companies out there who give you a thousand lumens with the USB direct charging. Um, this is a feature I've seen on a couple flashlights, kind of like the Nova flashlights. They do a lot of that rotating focus, so 
As you guys know, for standardized flashlights, I have extremely high standards, and I will put them through absolute torture to see if they fit the bill. And finally, this is kind of interesting, I dare say this is purely an EDC tool. Now, a lot of you guys will say, well, I just use my knife. And that's pretty darn common, with myself included, but it's a um, package opener. It opens its packages. That's what it does. So it says, stop struggling with those stubborn packages. And it went out of focus on me. Simply insert and slide to cut the tape. Multi, Multi-use tools for opening packages, cutting rope, and cleaning your fingers. So apparently you can stay fresh while you kick some ass opening them pesky packages. <laughs> so yeah, so this is what I got in the mail, which is why... I decided to keep my Walmart excursion a little light on the spending aspect, but I, why I'm also showing you this week. So that's why I have all this gear kind of lined out. So you can expect to see this very, very, very shortly. And after I get a chance to mull through most of this gear, I will go back out to probably another outdoor um, retailer. Probably not Walmart this time. I might check out something like Bass Pro Shops, Academy. Now, we all know Bass Pro Shop, you can literally arm up for, like, literally the apocalypse there because they have absolutely everything. But at any rate, this is some of the gear that I got picked up. Really excited about it. So, but that'll do it. I'm out. <laughs>